Hello everybody, it's me Major Graf and welcome back to another Townie tutorial. This the first Townie admin tutorial. Yes, we've uh, shown a lot of love to the players so far with our tutorials, but this is the start of giving some love to you Townie admins out there running your servers. So we're going to be doing lots more tutorials uh, focused on the back end, uh, how you uh, deal with your config and all those kind of good things. Uh, but before we get on with the actual uh, tutorial, guys, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Please hit a like if this video has been helpful. And most importantly, for you admins out there please put in the comments below what do you want to see covered here what kind of tutorials do you want what uh, things do you want some extra help with uh, give me a shout out and that helps me plan uh, what videos to do uh, coming up so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you how we can make Townie override the home command. Uh, it's a really handy little trick that can end the headache of players setting their home location in places that they shouldn't be on your Townie server. And it's really simple. There are going to be two steps to this. Uh, the first one, we're going to uh, edit the commands file. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little uh, extra couple of lines in there that means that when a player does the slash home command, actually Townie runs a different command. And then once we've done that, the second thing we're going to do is we are going to go into the Townie config and simply enable the deny bed use setting. And it should become uh, really clear why those two steps are needed. So before we do either of those things, we need to uh, do one important thing, and that is if your server is running, you need to stop your server uh, before you start uh, making any changes to the, the, the commands or the config. So once you've done that, let's go on to step one. So you need to uh, navigate to your root folder. Uh, this is the folder where you have your, your plugins folder, you have your help uh, file, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that should be fairly easy to find for you guys. Uh, and in here we have a, a little YAML file here called commands. And we're going to open that up. And all we're going to do is we're going to add two simple lines at the bottom. Now you do need to be careful when you're adding lines into this. Any uh, using tabs or improper spacing is going to break the commands YAML, uh, make it totally unreadable by the server. So make sure you're getting this exactly as it should be. So here's what we're going to put in. We're going to do space space home and a colon. That's your first line. We're going to go down a line. We're going to go space space again, hyphen, and then another space, and then simply slash towny colon resident space spawn. So what that means is uh, when uh, a player uses the home command, what's actually going to happen instead is that Townie is going to run the resident spawn command. So now we've got those two lines in, we can close that and don't forget to save it. And then we go on to the config. Now, I'm sure you know where the config is, but just in case there's anyone who's a bit more new to the plugin, uh, we go into the plugins folder, into the Townie folder, into the settings folder, and here it is, the Townie config. So we're going to open that up now, and we need to find a specific line of code in here. So we're going to quickly use the find function, and we're going to look for this. We're going to look for the deny bed use uh, line. So here we go. That brings us, uh, for me, it's about two thirds of the way down says uh, if true players can use beds in plots they personally own they can only use beds in plots they personally own so at the moment it says false we need that to read true because we want this to make sure that a player can only use a bed in a plot that they own or in an in plot so let's just save that now and come out of there. And that's everything done. So what is that actually doing? It's good for us to know exactly what we've done and what effect it's going to have. So first of all, uh, the uh, command uh, change that we made, uh, as I said before, means that when a player uses the slash home command, in actual fact, they are running the slash resident spawn command. And that does a couple of things. So if a player has a bed spawn, uh, then uh, using the slash res spawn actually will send them to their bed spawn. If they haven't got a bed spawn set, 
then it will send a player to their town spawn. And if they don't even have a town yet, then it will send them right back to the world spawn. And setting the deny bed use uh, in the config to true uh, does a couple of things. Uh, what it does is it means that players will only be able to sleep in beds, which are in plots that they personally own, or in plots that are towny in plots. Obviously, there are a couple of exceptions to that. Um, they can't sleep in in plots in towns that they are an outlaw of or uh, that they are enemies with. And the end result is your players get a slash home command and they aren't able to set their homes in other people's towns. Handily, this means that their slash home command will also be limited in the same way that other spawn commands are um, as it's uh, set up in your config. So, for example, the warm up time, the cool down time, uh, movement cancelling the spawn, all those kind of things will apply to that slash home command as well. So there is one other little finishing touch you can make if you like. Uh, if you have any other plugins uh, that have uh, any kind of home command in them, you might want to disable that by removing the permission node from your players uh, for the slash set home in your permission plugin. So there you go. Uh, by doing this and uh, being able to fully utilize that towny in plot, um, you can really enhance the role playing elements of your server. Guys, I hope that's been helpful. That's all we've got for this episode. As I said before, any ideas down in the comments below, please do subscribe. It really does make all the difference to me. I really want to try and uh, get that all important 1000. But until the next time, enjoy running your servers.